Hey, this is Jerry from Blitz Studio. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to start taking a look at developing a wind condition. So the first part that we're gonna be working on in this particular demo is setting up a confetti particle effect that will then spawn once we do wind. And with that particle system, we're gonna look at a couple different things. One is we're gonna create a material for our confetti. We're actually going to create the graphics of the confetti. Then we're actually going to take and add that to a particle system. And then we're going to use the, within the particle system, we're going to use the texture sheet animator so that we can animate through the, the, the four different particle graphics that we created that are all in one particle sheet. Then we're going to finish setting up that particle system so it looks like confetti. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we're back in Unity, but so what I want to do is to start us over into Photoshop or whatever tool that you use to create graphics. So what I want to do is I'm going to pop over into Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and create a graphic that is 256 by 256 pixels. So 256 by 256. Again, staying within that power of two. If you don't know what power of two is, you want to try to keep all your graphics within that range. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to create a square graphic. And so I want to use this to create a look of confetti, okay? And so I'm just going to add a new layer right here real quick. I'm going to just inverse this so that I can see uh, what the confetti looks like. And I want to draw this in white. Uh, the reason I want to draw it in white is because I'm going to colorize the particles in uh, Unity. So. Uh, and what I want to imagine is that I want to divide this into quadrants, right? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to draw four different kind of confetti shapes. And then that way I'm going to animate through those. And then it'll allow me to have a more dynamic look for the confetti. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my lasso tool and just draw some shapes out and again i'm just trying to kind of trying to stick within each of the quadrants because that's how i'm going to uh, cut this up but so i'm on a new layer and i want to just kind of draw out what a potential confetti shape might look like something like that and then i'm going to go ahead and just fill it with some white and then i'm going to draw out another one again trying to stick to something just a little bit different and these don't have to be perfect because they're gonna be animated and they're gonna be flipping through all four of these. So I'll go ahead and fill that one. And I'm also gonna be rotating them while I'm doing that. So. And one more. And what should we make that look like? Something like that. Cool. So we'll call that good. Again, we're just trying to stick with these four different shapes in the uh, four different quadrants there. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn that background off. So we just have transparent and the, the, the particle uh, shapes themselves. I'm going to go ahead and just save this out as a PNG file. And I'm going to save this into my sprites folder. And we'll call this confetti. Cool. I'm going to pop back over into Unity. And here, again, we just brought that asset in. We go in my Sprites folder. Here we go. We see that. I want to go ahead and select that. And then in the inspector, I want to go ahead and choose a texture type of Sprite 2D and UI. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. Now is where we can start working on our magic. OK, so I need to go ahead and create a material. So I'm going to go into my Materials folder, Create and create a material and we'll call this confetti there we go and we're going to go ahead and take the confetti graphic in our sprites folder and drag that into albedo so this is where we're going to see the the graphic and then uh, what i want to do is choose the render mode from opaque to cut out and then we can go ahead and look at applying a mission uh, so that this would be nice and bright, uh, or we can change or just leave that at the moment. Cool. So we've got that set up. Now we can go ahead and go and start a new effect. So I'm going to go particle system 
And I'm gonna move that down so we can see that on screen down here. And again, what we're wanting to do is to create a uh, confetti look. So it's gonna kind of like burst out and then kind of all fall down, okay? So let's start taking a look at some of this confetti. All right, so first I'm gonna call this particle system confetti. Again, this is gonna be kind of like the basis or the beginning of a wind condition. Um, we're not gonna set up the wind condition in this demo, but we're just setting up the particle. Cool. All right, so here we go. Let's, uh, we need to first change the particle system. So we're gonna go to renderer and then change from the default particle system to the confetti that we've created, okay? So now we see our confetti, but it's in that quad format. And the way we're gonna change this is to go to texture sheet animation. So I'm going to change that um, from grid of one by one. That means that there's it's all in one shot, but we stuck it in two rows and two columns. So we wanna change this to be two by two. Okay, so now we see the individual parts and it is animating through those parts. It's going um, the first one, then the second one, then the next row, first one, and the second one. Um, if I want to animate through those, uh, through all four of those graphics faster, I can choose the cycles and bump up that number. Now you can see that it's animating a little bit faster. Now the color's not right. There's a lot of different things that aren't right just yet, but we're going to fix all that. Cool. So let's go ahead and go to, um, let's go change the shader here. Let's change the shader from uh, a standard to a particles and particle unlit. So now we're going back to where all of the particles are white. Now we can go back and affect those within our start color. So I'm gonna go and choose my start co color. And again, you know that I like to choose uh, random between two colors, random between two, two constants, random between two, two gradients. And now we've got this and I can choose a couple different colors. So I'm gonna choose one that's kind of like that blue color. And then also one that's more of that pinky color here. Now we have different colors. Cool, so now we can go ahead and start taking a look at um, some of this. We, now, currently the particles are all kind of just floating up. And what I want there to be is a burst of these and they're gonna pop up and then kind of float down. So let's go ahead and look at that. So I'm gonna go into a mission and instead of doing 10, a rate of 10 every second, I'm gonna change that to zero. And I'm gonna add a burst. So right here where it says bursts, I'm gonna click plus. And there you can see we're, we're have a burst of 30 of those. I'm gonna make this more like 100. And I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the cycle as it is. And there's some other things that we need to go and modify. So let's change the shape a little bit. So currently the shape, here's the shape. I want there to be a little bit wider base on the, let's kind of zoom in here a little bit. So I want the bottom of this cone base to be a little wider. So I'm gonna go radius and open that up just a little bit. The top I think is too wide, so let's change the angle down. So it's not gonna, I don't want it to go quite straight up, but I want it to be kind of in that vein. Now, of course, it's releasing them all as one, and of course there's no variance, so let's go ahead and change some of those variants. So currently I wanna go and set lifetime. Let's change lifetime uh, to be random between two constants. And let's maybe go to, to six. Then also start speed. Let's make that be a couple different constants. Random between two constants. Let's go two to six. And here's the biggie. We want to add a gravity modifier, right? So currently these are just going up, but I want them to go up and then kind of fall back down. So I need to add gravity. So I'm just gonna change gravity to one. Okay, so now you can see that they're gonna burst and then kind of fall back down. Now, currently my start speed isn't enough to get them higher on the, the screen. So I need to go ahead and hit the start speed and increase that. So I'm gonna go maybe 10 
to let's try 30. And that might be a little bit too much. Let's go five to 20. Again, it's just kind of something you have to play with. I don't necessarily like the uh, amount. I wanna increase that. Let's make that 200. Yeah, so that's not looking too bad. I think that they're all currently a, the same size. So I wanna go ahead and start um, the size to be different between two constants as well. So it adds a little more variety. So let's go uh, 0.5 to two maybe. Oh, that's too big. Let's go 0.2 to one. Yeah, and that's not looking too bad. And we can also set some rotation on them so that they're not all exactly the same. So start rotation. We'll go ahead and ran between two constants. And I'll just go from zero to 360. So that way they'll all be completely random in their rotation. And now they're starting to look pretty good. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's ch change the uh, texture sheet animation. I'm gonna cycle that up and change the start frame so that they don't always start on the same frame. So in that quadrant, right, there's four frames. It starts at zero. So I want, if I want it to, every time one of those particles is generated, I want it to be from zero to three. So that's you know offset by one. So I wanna go ahead and random between two constants and let's just go zero to three. And so now they're gonna rotate or start from a different frame, each particle that's generated. And I think I wanna update the cycles to maybe eight. So they animate just a little bit faster, I think. So there we go, we've created a confetti animation for our wind condition. Hey, we learned a lot about the particle system, adding a material, creating some graphics, using those graphics for our particle system, and we learned how to use the texture sheet animator within the particle system to animate between those graphics. Again, please share these tutorials. And as always, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.